Hello everybody, this is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. So, um, we finally figured out what we're going to do uh, to try to get uh, the EMF radiation out of the basement. <clears throat> so, um, this is a uh, like a storage room we have next to our house. <clears throat> and we're going to be putting our battery bank here. We poured this slab over a week ago. It's been curing out and I'm, I'm going to build a... A new battery box and we're going to put all of our uh, charge controllers and all of our uh, uh, our inverter uh, out here uh, in the storage room but uh, I had to um, I had to pour some cement this was over um, a week ago and you can see the rest of its dirt right here but we're gonna have to uh, <clears throat> paint this wall with this uh, EMF shield paint now we bought some for the house about two years ago. We only bought like, I think, four gallons. This is $250 a gallon. And this is actually 1.32 gallons. So it's like a gallon and a third. $250 for this little bucket of paint. You can see my hand, uh, how small it is. It's just a little bit over a gallon. But um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this paint and we're going to paint this back wall here with the paint and um, I'm going to try to make a Faraday cage because on the other side of this wall is our kitchen so the EMF signals will go through walls so this paint right here will block uh, supposedly block the EMF radiation going through and to do a correct Faraday cage you have to have the floor you have to have the walls and the ceiling up here. You can see we just have um, insulation and this wall here. So I'm going to have to enclose this whole thing in wire mesh and also um, in this black paint and even the ground. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a wall here. The wall is going to go all the way up to the ceiling. We're going to enclose this and on the front, I'm going to have some copper wire mesh so hopefully we can make a entire um, entire EMF proof radiation proof little room for the uh, the battery bank because the battery bank and inverters and everything is giving off a lot of EMF. So this is going to be our project. Um, otherwise, I won't be able to do my my broadcast downstairs uh, until I can get this thing fixed. So. I even got a propane line running along the wall here. So we're going to have to enclose that. So just wanted to give you an update. We're going to be doing a fundraiser next month, probably in about a week, if you guys want to contribute to help me get some copper wire. It is very expensive. And if you know anything about Faraday cages, you have to do the ceiling, all the walls, uh, you know, the side walls and the front to, um, to basically uh, keep in the... Um, the radiation so it wasn't won't go through the walls because if i just put the battery bank here and, and all the inverters and everything then now all that's going to penetrate through the kitchen and we'll have the same problem in the kitchen as we do the basement so it's a mess folks you know um i was wondering why i always got sick you know after i do a broadcast you know i would like the next three or four days i'd be in the bed because i felt so bad and then even when I did live music or, not, or just record a song downstairs, that's where we have our music stuff, um, I would feel bad for two or three days. And it was because of the EMF radiation. And finally, uh, something told me to, to check, you know, the readings down there. So um, this is going to be a major project, relocating 20 200-pound batteries and everything. So we'll keep you updated as we, uh, as we work on this. Um, like I said, this is the, uh, this is the shield paint. You can look at on this on amazon.com. Last time we bought it, it was $250 a gallon. It might be a little bit cheaper, but, uh, in order to do my whole house, folks, I'm probably going to need 15 or 20 gallons. And that's like over $3,000. I don't have the money for that. So anyway, uh, we will be doing a fundraiser. If you guys want to chip in, uh, for some copper wire, uh, copper screen wire, I'm uh, probably have to get 50 feet. I don't know if 25 feet will be enough because I got to do a wall from the floor all the way up to the ceiling is over eight feet. So I got to do that back wall. I got to go this wall. 
we got to do this wall. We got to do the, the floor. We got to do the front screen. So if you add it up, you got um, uh, eight uh, here, another eight, eight, eight. So four times eight is 32 feet plus the ground. So it's going to be probably about 40 feet of copper screen, screen wire to enclose this little section. And this is about three foot by seven foot right here. So, you know, it all adds up. And um, the uh, the copper screen wire, you can look at the Amazon, it's about a thousand bucks. And I just don't have the money to do it. So if you guys want to maybe want to chip in next, uh, in a couple of weeks, we'll do a, a donation for our channel. We would appreciate it to help me get this done. But this is probably going to take a couple of weeks to do. Um, we're going to try to get a coat of paint on here uh, today and get started so I can start building the back wall and start transferring some of the equipment. So God bless you. Thank you for praying for me. I really appreciate it. We're going to try to get this thing figured out so um, I can get healthy again because it's been a it's been a struggle, folks. And the electromagnetic frequencies, they can cause cancer. They can cause a lot of health problems in your body. So we're going to try to get that correct. So God bless you. Remember, Jesus Christ loves you. He's coming back soon. Don't be caught dead without him. Bye-bye.